of the church. Right. For the Purona, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11, I said, the state of the church. Before we go, that's that's my background. Uh, psychology, we get sociology, but my background is in psych. Gombay, we need to fake the operation of definition. That means that our part of the is important to define the things that we are talking about because we we don't just want to use the same words, but we want to use the same words. For example, when we do our research, we are talking about the you know, like, how do you know your mom loved your dad? Like, chaque team on a different definition. Gen on qui dit, gen on qui dit, gen par exemple, oh, chaque fois le passé, il m'a intégré. Right? For that kid, that's the average of definition. Ça veut dire, soit pas la team on t'a dit, oh, you know, mommy t'a acheté tel bail ou papi, that's not love, because pour team on ça, love means touching. Right? So, we, we all use the word church, but we don't all mean uh, the same thing when we mean church. Right? When we say church. Um, nowhere in the Bible, there are some places that it's implied, but when you say the word église, but when you say the word église, to define your building, your location that is physical. The church is always talking about people. So usually the sum of all the people, a gathering of all the people, some part of the people, but it's never the building that the people come in. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, you know, Christ gave himself for the church. None of us believe Christ gave himself for 249 East 88th Street. Like, that's, that's not what's going on, right? No, I think that we're going to do this in Ephesians 4, verse 11 and 16. We're going to take a look at your expression in chapter 11, and then in chapter 12, and then that's it, right? So I want to look at three phrases. And he gave, that's the first thing. For the perfecting, that's the second thing. For the edifying, that's the third thing. And then we'll look at a consequence. So and he gave, for the perfecting, for the edifying. And then we'll look at uh, consequences. Brother Joel, um, we have a lot of churches. I'm curious about those things. Yun, as Christian, Tu, as Haitian, I'm, I'm curious. So I want, at one point, but I have Nintendo on, on, on my computer. I thought, like, to the point the the habitude chapter, they immigrate or immigrate with mercy or with their habits. So somebody can point out that with a Arab girl from the corner store, it's like a guy who's been in Um. All jokes aside, take one for curious on summer. I take a camera, I walk Rogers Avenue. All right? Rogers Avenue, longer Rogers, quand elle commence à faire un long, pour y vivre presque Atlantic Land, is 2.7 miles. 2.7 miles. I took a picture of every only to annonce pour les guises I found 26. So that means that Haitian churches on Rogers alone, in that summer, there were 26. Now, when you, for 2.7 miles, every 0.1 mile, that's less than a block, there was a church. The state of the church. And he gave for the perfecting, for the edifying. What did he give? James 1 verse 17, every good, blessed be the God and Father of our Jesus Christ, every good and perfect gift is from God. God gives good and perfect gifts. God gives all things. Sometimes we look at you know, people who are unbelievers who are good at something. We're not going to do But it, it, it's almost as if we want to believe that somebody else other than God gave them that thing. No. Every good and perfect gift is from God. The difference between a Christian and a non-Christian is the Christian uses their gift for edifying, for perfecting, and the other people use it for themselves, or sometimes, by some grace, they take what they have and they make somebody else's lives better. But every good and perfect gift is from God. So at times, you know, for my young people, 
Yet if we're all over the internet, you have these examples of people who say like, oh, so and so such a good rapper. It's from the, no, no devil gives somebody anything, right? It's like, oh, the guy is good at rapping, but no, he did not contract with the devil. The guy was rapping since he was 13. By the time he's 40, he's done it for 27 years. And if you put in a certain amount of hours into anything, that thing is second nature to you, period. Right? And of course, to, you know, the contract with the devil and this, it's always usually about black people. Mm-hmm. Pay attention to that. Amen. Anyway, and, and he gave. God gives. Some to be apostles, some to be teachers, some to be preachers. A couple of Fridays ago, not last Friday, but the Friday before I was here for the men's uh, service, we talked about that aspect, right? The study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Why? Again, as a workmanship for the edifying, God gives some to be teachers, God gives to be preachers, God gives to be evangelists, he gave all of that. Second thing we look at, for the perfecting of the saints. What you're given is not for you. There's nothing in the Bible that says, oh, come to God and your life will be made better. I came across a line from um, that you only Tony Morrison. Because there's sometimes in our now in our kids that make everybody like to be happy. Like, do what makes you happy. And then she said something he's simple but he profound. He figured, there's not much in life that's worth doing that make you happy. Most of the things that are worth doing at times don't necessarily bring you happiness. <laughs> Think of all tout grand changement qui fait dans la société, que recherche mon affaire, que surtout pour pour monde qui par exemple we are Haitian. Right? One got fed, you know, revolution and get you independent. Didn't bring them happiness. That's pain. And every one of them will not battle with humanity or be on group or pay for fair way on bag is different. Most of those people, we kill them. Right? Martin Luther King Jr. died at the age of 38. Uh, 39, I should say, rather. In 1968. He was 39 years old. At that point, he was, a, he was smoking. He was stressed. And his autopsy said he had the heart of a 60-year-old. Not to mention depression, all of that stuff. For the perfecting of the saints. So, there's the most important thing to preach last time. Right? Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All the things that God gives you, God calls you to be a light, He calls you to be salt, He calls you to be a tree. He call, all the things He calls you, you will realize it's not for the thing itself. Right? The light doesn't shine itself, it shines somebody else. The tree that brings fruit doesn't eat its own fruit, it's for somebody else. Amen. Right? All the things that you are called is that you could be in service, a workman for the body, in the body. It's not about you. Hmm. Let me give you an example. Now, uh, Samuel, we are in a relationship that is as deep, as plus profound as you Fraternity car, the brotherhood can go. Now, verse Samuel chapter 18, verse 1, he says, "No, that David loved me, Jonathan, as he loved his own soul." Now, I want you to realize who is David and Jonathan. Papa Jonathan, what? Jonathan, prince. Bon Dieu, que le David, David va le remplacer. Papa Jonathan. Jonathan aime David, il dit que si pour David monter pour Jonathan lui-même lui descend. But Jonathan loved David as his own soul. Can you love somebody with your own soul when it means that their success might mean your demise? That's Christian. Amen. Gemon ki aime wè bien pou moun, c'est tout autant bien moun nan pa rentre nan bonheur pa. The Bible teaches us that both the giver and the receiver are perfected. God gives for the perfecting of the saints. The third thing about music. Third thing for the edifying of the body. The perfecting of the saints is the individual. Can I make this brother's life better? Can I provoke, Proverbs would say, and Paul would say, can I provoke that brother unto righteousness? 
Can I provoke him? Everybody can love a good person. Tout one can have a woman. So can have a woman who can have a woman. Et si nous sommes honnêtes à tête, nous pouvons réaliser qu'il n'y a aucun monde qui n'est pas fait. C'est toujours facile de love somebody qui est beau, somebody qui est nice, somebody qui est hot, somebody qui est très bien. Mais can you love the person when they're not? That's love. We all can give, nous tous bâillons. Et il ne faut pas parler à mon nom, mon nom, oui, mais même à ton nom, mon petit, moi, je suis très bien. Yeah, everybody can love their wife and kid. Now, can you love somebody else's kid? Mm. Mm. Okay, but it's not saying we're moving. For the edifying of the body, I want you to realize the whole body, right? And what I just said to you is in the is in the, the gospels, right? What good is it that you say you do this? Uh, even the tax collectors and the publicans do it. Right? In our days, we would say, the people that you least likely think as holy, I don't know, maybe totally unbelievers, gay people, like even they love their spouses and children. Mm. <laughs> ah, mm. How, whatever group you want to put there. Right? And if I, it's not a, if I watch Sidon, for example, I'm going to put a couple minutes extra. No, no, people are again. Juifio. Juifio pensait de tête dans le sens supérieur, spirituellement supérieur, et, et sans eau pure. Juif pas associé à Samaritain. Qui est-ce que Samaritain songeait bien les royaumes dans divisé un, Judas font un bon, distribué au fond bon. Les distribués au fond l'autre bon, distribué au crasé avant, sans eau pure mélangée. Capitalio, c'est une ville qui est venue de Samaria, c'est lui-même qui vient de Samaritain. Comprenez bien que, en pile fois, Jésus a par exemple à Juif, qui m'a dit qu'il a vendu, qui a fait un peu de rencontre pour le pays, qui a dit qu'il est Samaritain. The whole body, the perfection of the body. Un Corinthien chapitre 12, 13 à 20, dit nous, that the body has many members, but no one member is more important than the other one. Tout le monde a même supporté le monde qui est en charge là. Tell the president, tell the pastor. Oh, vous voulez vous aider. You know, I'm here for you. I'm here to support you. Now, pour aller bien sur les chiréens qui ont tourné en France en là, who support him? Because he too is part of the body. The edifying means spirit who construit. Right? Um, I would strongly encourage my, my younger folks, it never hurts to know multiple languages. Right? So, 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 proficient in French, but more people edifice, right? That means a construction, a building of sorts. God gives so that you might perfect each member. Right? But that is that is Veblen is not that they are perfect, but for the perfecting. So that means it's a process. Right? It's the same idea in the American Constitution, right? In order to form a more perfect union. So if a union is perfect, why does it need to be more perfect? No, it's a thing, it's a continuing process, right? Now for ourselves that's the entrepreneur, un marchand, un édifiant, un perfectant, right? So 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 tense that you continue. The perfecting is for the saints, but the edifying is for the body. You perfect each saint, each saint get better and more perfecting, so that we as a whole can get better, can be made better. Now, we're concluding. When these three things happen, when God gives for the perfecting and for the edifying, that means we are not carried away by bad doctrines. We are not carried away by bad habits. That's one. Two, it means that we care for all the members of the body. The men, the women, the youth, the kids. Sometimes, culturellement parlant, même si vous fâchez pour vous dire, sometimes vous payez more attention à un garçon qui a fait. Un garçon qui a fait un bon âge, il y a plusieurs madames. Il y a un bon âge, il y a un bon âge, il y a un bon âge. Qui est son sexe, c'est fait, vous attendez. C'est pas bon pour vous. Il n'est pas bon pour l'homme. Yes. 
the way we teach youth, the way we treat the youth, bon sens culturellement parlant, la culture haïtienne tout autant que grand monde existait ou même pas jamais grand monde. That's a bad habit. It's bad. It's awful. It's wrong. Stop it. For the perfecting of the saints, for the perfect for, for the edifying of the body, mean que let him know how they call. Mon mari qui vit dans la ville, que nous faisons un sens culturel qui pas biblique en un sens. Il va pratiquer tout va faire sens. Nous prions pour tout le monde à l'école pour qu'il apprenne. Nous gêner, nous prier, nous oh mon Dieu fait il apprenne. Bon Dieu fait il grâce. Oh mon Dieu fait il dans collège. Là pour nous faire tout ça que tout le monde apprend là. Disons tu as dans vingtaine bonheur. Tout ça qu'elle apprend là, non sens professionnel, les grand monde, les ballon mon lol. Et puis rentrer l'église, tu peux ton pas pour mourir ou même les petits monde toujours. Why? Tu vas pas ce qu'on voit quoi que le petit monde. Bon, il explique que tu pas fait, tu pas pratiqué ça David et Jonathan de pratiquer. Parce que tu veux réaliser que connaissance parle là, make you look like you're not so smart. So now you got to push them to the side. It's not good for their body. Now what that means is, I am point when you put when you look at churches at times, the culture is attention with the spiritual stuff. So that means there are pile fois. Now pile l'église nous, y a un grand monde et puis y a un petit monde petit. Tout mis dans l'île. Because if you had kept them, the stuff that they bring would make you feel a certain way. So instead of God giving for the edifying, for the perfecting of the body, for the edifying of the body and perfecting of the saints, it becomes about you. I'm in charge. I've been doing this for 10 years. I've been doing this for 40. Just because you've been doing it doesn't mean you've been doing it well. It doesn't always mean that you have to keep on doing it. We're not carried away by stuff. That means that we know the difference between doctrine and fad. I'm older enough than some of my younger friends to have been around in, for different life cycles of Haitian American youth, especially in Brooklyn. Like you have a thing that's popular, it's like concerts or something, or it's like praise bands or something. Those things last about five years. Like, let's fait pareil, like, you show, oh my God, this is a new one. Like, pass on, take, take, you know, take your blood. Cool your blood. We're not tossed to and fro. I want you to realize something. Lo, when God gives for the perfecting and for the edifying, that means go again, poa. That means que n'importe vent pas pour te wale. Vent doctrine, vent manière, vent bad habit, Vent, n'importe l'autre vent, ta capote ou aller. Gon va se que nous récitons tout le temps, que nous va ouer qui vive juste là. Somme premier, verset 3, 4. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth in both season. His leaf also shall not wither. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Why does the wind drive the ungodly away? There was no perfecting, there was no edifying, therefore we are light. God bless.